everyone, welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And this week's project is a simple one. I'm gonna show you how to place a little structure up on a hill, just like this. And we're gonna bring this little creek around. A uh, super easy to do, and I hope you like this project. Okay, so we're gonna need a few things. Uh, we're gonna use a structure from the little mini cottages set, so this one right here. But you can use any of these little structures, they'll all work. Uh, in the tree set, we're going to use this one, this little fir tree. In the, uh, the truck mini set, we're going to use the little fence. And then in the, uh, the very first foliage set, we're going to use this tiny little foliage right here. And then one more in the mini flower set, we're going to use this one right here. So the little tiny dots, they're, they're just, they're tiny little flowers, but they work great. Uh, for a background. So let's get going. We are going to start out by stamping that basic uh, structure. So this one right here. And we are going to ink it in the sepia. So I'm going to ink this whole thing up in the sepia. And I want to kind of fade this out. So this little structure is in the background. And you can see that it's kind of set back away. So we want to keep this very light. We want to, don't want to see real dark, heavy lines. And if you think about seeing a structure in the background, you don't see a big outline, you know, heavy outline around it. So we want, we want this to look like a little painting. So we're going to, we're going to stamp that off. So we're going to ink it. And then I'm just going to take another sheet of paper, stamp it off like this, and then just huff on it and then stamp it again onto my watercolor paper so I have to have it very light. Okay, so let's go on from here and we're going to place this little structure on a hill. And I think it's easy, easier to um, just draw this pencil line in. I think it, um, I don't know, I just think it's easier to get a visual of how this looks by doing this. And you know, you can make this hill as short or long as you want to. Uh, this is probably about an inch right here. And I'm going to bring the water around. So the water is going to come around just like this. And then back in here, there's another little hill. So if you pencil this in, you kind of have an idea of where you're going to place the stamp. So here's our little hill. Here's the water coming around. And this little area back here where the fir trees are. Okay, so now that we've kind of got a plan, uh, we can go ahead and um, add our fir trees in. So I'm going to stamp those and I'm going to use two colors. So I'm going to start out with the, um, the olive green. So I just, I'm just getting a nice mix of color on this and I'm coloring the, tr the tree trunk as well. Okay, so I'm going to ink this in the 72 pine green now, right on top of it. And I'm going to do the center one first. So right here and then back a couple more in there like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and ink that one more time. And this one I'm just going to use the 72. I'm not going to use the tree trunk. So just the, just the fir tree only and stamp it kind of in the back just like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and add water to that now. So I'm going to dip my brush in water, pinch it off and just dab at this. So make sure you don't get too much water on this. These are tiny, tiny little lines. And so we're just softening those lines. We're not really painting anything. So we don't want to erase them. We just want to soften them and kind of blend this all together. And just kind of jump your brush around, work your way around just like this. Uh, this these little ones that are in the background, they're going to be very light. So don't be afraid to kind of spread that color around too. So you've got, you've got color on your brush, so go ahead and just kind of mix it around a little bit. And now we're gonna dip our brush and pinch it off, and we're gonna just blend these little tree trunks out. So we're kind of creating some more foliage in the foreground. So we're just kind of softening that and kind of blending it all out. Okay, so let's go on to the next side over here. We're gonna do the same thing and just soften, soften these little lines. Jump your brush around just like this. Super easy. And you want to, you still want to see some, you know, um, white spots in there. So you don't want to color this all in solid. Um, so be sure to leave some white areas and drag this green over now. So this is from the trees. So I've got green on my brush and I'm just going to drag a little bit of this over. 
Okay, so let's go into the house now. And we're going to pull the color out of the line. So this is very light. So there isn't a lot of color that's going to come out of here. And just kind of follow these little lines around. Super, super easy. Uh, when you're doing the roof, you wanna always see a highlight at the top. So you never wanna drag that color all the way to the top. Really, really important. Okay, let's go on now. And I'm going to take the fine tip now of my number 86. So this is the number 86 African Violet. And I'm gonna really darken these tiny little windows. Really, really darken these in. And, you know, just add a little detail in on the sides. So we can see the little window panes here. Super easy. I'm gonna add a little of this color now to my palette. And I'm gonna mix a little bit now of the steel blue with it. So I'm mix, mixing those two colors together. And I'm gonna create a little um, of this watercolor. So you can, you can use uh, whatever blue you have, really. I kind of like this mix of color. Uh, you just want to make sure that you really water it down so that you get this color really, really light. And as you're coming around the corner, you want to keep it very light. And really try to keep some light areas in here. You know, don't, don't color this all in solid. It's going to kind of give you the idea that the water is moving. So just drag it in here just like this. Super, super easy. Don't stress out about stuff like this. So easy to do. And then let's add some of the same color now into the sky. The same really pretty blue. Keep it really light. You know, if you think the, the color is getting a little too dark, just dip your brush in water and just kind of wash it out. Just wash it out. Let's add a little bit more over here in this area. And now I'm gonna take some of this blue and I'm going to brush a little bit in on the house. Uh, you know, we're gonna see shadows here, so uh, we always want to include some color. Uh, very lightly. Uh, but you wanna, you wanna always see uh, some shadow here. And we can put a little bit onto the ground here also. So just like this. And then let's let's darken in the, um, the roof. And I'm just gonna take a little sepia now and mix it with my pine green. So we're just keeping these colors really, really light. Uh, you know, the whole goal is that this looks like a little painting. So that's what we're going for. And this is in the background, so we're not gonna see any harsh colors, any harsh dark lines. So very, very light. Let's go ahead and uh, add some color now to the little doorway. I'm gonna use the number six brown, just the fine tip, and I'm just gonna color this in. Kind of brightens everything up a little bit. Add a little bit to the chimney as well. And I've washed out a little bit of this line here, so I'm gonna take my fine tip. This is a fine tip of the uh, number 72. And I'm just gonna drag this, this line back in. So you can see it's very, very light in here, but it really looks three-dimensional because we've got some shadows going on here. You could add a little more detail in here, actually, um, if you wanted to. You could take that fine tip and just lightly uh, make a few little lines in the roof line, just like that. Okay, so let's add some green now to our palette. So just like this. And I'm gonna brush in a little more green now onto this hill. So just a little bit in here, just like this. Just a little background. And I'm gonna mix some of that now with the blue. And get some of this back in here. That's a little dark, so I'm gonna wash it out. Uh, you can always wash this color out if you get it a little too dark. Don't ever worry about that. So we're trying to get some, you know, background in here, a uh, little mountain range or something very, you know, subtle back in the background. So you can see I just washed that right out. No problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our foreground in and we're gonna do that with this small foliage. 
and we're just gonna ink part of it. So I'm using the 72 again, and I'm just gonna ink this top little corner right here. And I'm just gonna stamp it a few times, three times maybe. And I'm gonna do it again. And let's just do it one more time right over here. And I'm gonna ink just the edge and get this area right over here. And then I'll just dip my brush, pinch it off, and just blend. This little foliage works so well for this type of thing because you need this, it kind of looks like ground cover, uh, really small leaves, and you've got to have that really tight little, um, tight little image with this tiny, tiny foliage in the background. So just dab. Remember, we're not, you know, we're not painting anything. We're just kind of blending what we've already placed on here, just what we've already stamped. And we've got a really nice ground cover here. So we're gonna come back over here and do the same over here. And just blend all this in. Super easy. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm just going to add a little darker color in here just to give a little shadow so you can see the outline of that hill. And actually, let's just bring this in here also back in the background. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna ink, ink um, that little tree one more time because this looks a little faded out to me so I want to make sure that's dry and then I'm going to ink this little tree just the very top of it and stamp it in here one more time so I can get that in a little darker and just blend it out you see how easy that works okay so let's go on to the next step and we're going to add our little flowers in here so our little tiny blooms this is those little tiny blooms from the mini flower set. And I'm just gonna ink these up in the violet. So that's the number uh, eight violet. And just tap it in here a few times. As much as you want of this. Let's just add a few more out here. And we can put a few up in here as well. And if you like that, you know, more detailed look, you don't even have to add any water to this. Totally up to you. Uh, but very, very lightly. If you do add water, do it very, very lightly, just with the tip of your brush. I uh, still wanna see those little details, uh, but we just wanna soften it up. So you can see I'm just jumping my brush around and blending this all out. That looks pretty good. Okay, so let's go ahead and add the little fence line in. That's our last step. And I'm going to do that with a sepia, and I'm gonna use my positioner just to make sure I get that in the right place. So I'm gonna place the little shield in here like this, and I'm going to ink this now in the sepia, the whole thing. Just ink it all up and stamp it into the corner, so just like this. And I'll be able to position it exactly where I want it. That looks pretty good there. I think that's gonna work. And I'm going to place my little shield back here and just huff on that and stamp it back into the corner. And I've got my little fence line. Uh, if it needs to be darkened, just take your fine tip and add a little more color to it. Just like this, super easy. And you really don't have to do anything else to it. Don't be afraid to come back in here and add details with your fine tips. I do that all the time. And then take your uh, eraser and just take out all these pencil lines that you just drew in. Uh, make sure your image is dry before you do this. So make sure everything is completely dry. 
And that looks pretty good. We are about finished. Uh, you can add a few little details if you want to. Some little grass in the background. Uh, darken any areas that you think should be darkened. And then be sure to sign in date. And put it on a card or put it in a frame and give it away to someone you're going to make their day. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you all next week. Oh,